Hello and welcome back. Now, uh, before I get started with the next step on the alchemy, I want to sort this out because there is the problem that if I've got lots of different types of materials heading into the macerator and then they go off into the furnace, um, if this thing, say, has iron dust in this upper bit and then some tin dust comes along, the tin dust can't get in and it just spills out and stays there and will eventually despawn. Now, seeing as I, what I want to eventually be able to do is hook my quarry up um, to this thing. I hear an enderman. Anyway, um, I'm going to be having all sorts of different types of materials go in and I need a way of sorting it. You know, I, um, I need a way that it's not going to mess up. So, I need to rebuild this slightly. Because I've come up with what I think might be a solution. Um, and it's using whoops, two, uh, two new types of pipes. Um, an advanced insertion pipe. Sorry about that, that's my mobile phone. Let me just put this to silent. An advanced insertion pipe, which will intelligently try and put things into a machine um, or a chest and if not, it will head off in the other direction. And an iron pipe. The iron pipe might not be necessary. Um, let me see how far I can get with just the advanced insertion pipe. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually remove all this. Um, so I've got a, you know, so I've got like a clear palette, clear palette, a clear canvas to work on. I pick that up. Um, I'm going to need my wrench in order to safely pick these things up. Okay, so right hand click. Okay. I probably didn't have to um, move this first one, but I just, you know, I just want everything to be nice and nice and clear. Uh, Let's put a cobblestone down. Oh, I only got a machine block back for one of them. Oh, that's annoying. I know that that happens sometimes. Even you know, even when you use the wrench, occasionally you break a machine if you move it. And that's the machine I didn't even have to move. I should have left the macerator where it was. <laughs> Okay, we need to make ourselves another macerator. That's slightly aggravating. Electronic circuits. Three bits of uh, wire. Redstone, a bit of refined iron. Gives me an electronic circuit. And flint, flint, flint. I do have flint, just not here. Uh, that will be cobblestone. The electronic circuit actually goes to the bottom, the machine block goes in the middle, and I need three bits of flint for the teeth. Uh, see, this is why you've got to plan ahead more, and I wasn't. <laughs> well, these things happen. It's not too much resources I've wasted. You know, it's just a bit of refined iron, I think, is the main bit. Okay, so, my macerator. Um... Now this is the beginning of the production line, so it can go pretty over, but I don't want it to be too close to that, so... Now, I do know that this cable loses power the longer it gets. Essentially, um, after you get to the first first four, um, every one after that, you sort of lose power to resistance. Um, so the power that comes out the end is your wasting power, essentially. Uh, the way to extend this is either to upgrade the cable, or build more back back boxes. Um, I'll look about doing that that later. For now, um, I'm not doing too badly for power. Oops, although we are out of fuel there. <laughs> um, I was leaving this running for quite a while, um, making, you know, lots of stuff. So um, I will put this there. Now, the input for this wants to be a a chest 
in front of it. The idea being that if I want some, uh, something macerated, I can just walk along, add it to the chest manually, and it will be in the system. Um, then also my, my quarry can input to the chest as well. So, um, how do I want to do this? Way in that way. Wouldn't... What caused that puff of smoke? Hmm. Right. So, there's my input chest for the macerator. Um, I think I'll put the wooden transport pipe here. That's my electric furnace. There's my bit of marble. So I drop my redstone engine in here as before. My wooden transport pipe. What don't I need? I don't need that. On top. And I'll put my switch here. Oh, I did go mining a bit with the... Um, switch needs to be here, actually. Oh, you're facing the wrong way. Okay, why do you insist on... Oh, you're orientating yourself towards the... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, I went mining with the divining rod, and I did find myself another seven diamonds. So, you know, pretty good. So, this needs to input to the top of that. But this is where I need... Um, I want that advanced insertion pipe. So, the way you make an advanced insertion pipe is very similar to all the other pipes. Um, except it uses smooth stone. So that would normally give me a stone transport pipe, but I put a little bit of redstone on top, and it makes it into an advanced insertion pipe. So as I understand it, what this thing will do is... Um, I want to position it on top. What that, what that thing will do is, if there is room in this machine, it will go in. If there isn't, it will carry on travelling. And what I'm going to do with the car with the carry-on travelling is... So, this thing will connect to there. So, we'll go up and along. Ah! Because it's based on a... Okay, see, cobblestone transport pipes don't connect to stone transport pipes, but because that was a special type... I thought that wouldn't be a problem. Now, can I make cobblestone advanced insertion pipes? No. So, in that case, what I need to do is make myself some smooth stone pipes. And use that for my connections. So, I'll get rid of that and that. There we go. So, it'll pump out of the chest, um, into there if there's room, and if there isn't room, can I just come from the side? I think... Oh, no, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> Diamond picks far too fast. Uh, I'm going to need the lever again. Ah, there's too much stuff on my hotbar. There we go. Right, um, and then if for any reason it can't come out, it'll go back to this chest. Ah, not like that, obviously. It'll have to circle round like this. There we go. That's a nice compact circle. So essentially, if it can't go in there, it'll exit back out to this. Hmm. See, now I can start to get the spacing on stuff right, because my next machine has to go... I want the chest sort of in, um, in line with that, but it has to be spaced out enough that the pipes won't connect. Okay, input pipes come straight out the back, so a single... I think that's enough room. So, we put our second redstone engine here. I am going to need more uh, more redstone engines for this to work. Um, 
Oh, hang on. The one thing I've forgotten is I do need a normal output from that. But the no So there's going to be another redstone engine there. This one can be cobblestone pipe going into there, and that way it won't cross-connect. I think. But I'd better be certain. Yeah, see? That's not going to cut it, is it? Um, I might be able to rearrange it slightly. If this... Hmm, no. Ah! These pipes keep cross-connecting. I have to use smooth stone, I think, on all sides of this. Because cobblestone won't connect. See? Okay. It has to go in the top. Let me think about this for a moment. That might work if that connects to the, you know, to the chest. Um, I suppose the best way to test this will be to turn it on and give it two different types of ore. A piece of iron. A piece of copper. So I want to put these both in pretty quick. Okay, so that one's going in. Hopefully the second one will start moving. So hopefully that one will arrive while that one's still processing. And then we'll see what happens to that one. Okay, it started going up. Will it end up in the chest? That's what I want to find out. Just will it end up back in that chest? Yes, you can connect to a chest from the top like that. That's what I wanted to know. Okay. Uh, we don't have any power right, uh, right now, but that's okay. So... This is quite a compact setup. Um, I can use cobblestone pipe for the output from that. It needs to uh, see. There's going to be a wooden. Uh, it's going to be a wooden transport pipe there. So now that needs to input into this thing in such a way that it won't cross-connect with the transport pipe there or with the thing that's going to be the return pipe. Well, the return pipe is made of smooth stone, isn't it? So if I use a cobblestone transport pipe, I might be able to move this one, one that way. And now I'll be switching to... Oh, there'll be a wooden one there. Oops, there. But then it'll be smooth stone going up. So it won't cross-connect. That's going to work. Okay, I'm going to need... Um, two more redstone engines, some small and some more smooth stone cobble. So let me just whip those up.
Okay. So, now I can put my redstone engines in here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Getting a little crowded. I have to work out where to put the switch for him. Um, so I could put it there, but then the same switch will power both the output of that and the output of that one, which I don't want. I suppose, I suppose I always want it to automatically output. So I could power that in a slightly different way. Let's make some, well, a redstone torch. Um, I'm probably going to need 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 another one. So let's make some. Oh dear, I forgot that it would draw resources from down there. Oh well, there we go. I just need the two for now. There we go. I just want some stone brick. <laughs> oh, world's most fullest inventory. Alright, I just want some stone brick. So, because I'm about to put a redstone torch in. Oh, lordy, lordy. Let me clear out my inventory slightly. There we go. Hello, birdie. That's just a reminder to me not to dig that up. Okay, so that should have that engine then permanently powered. Dirt block goes back there, those go like that, put our wooden transport pipe back in, and our cobblestone transport pipe on top, there we go. So um, I will duplicate this setup for the electric furnace, and I'll see you when I'm done, and we can give it a live test. And we're back! So. Here you can see um, I basically duplicated that setup over here. Um, once again, I put um, a redstone torch under there, so the output is always on. So anything that gets uh, cooked in the furnace will end up in this chest here. But um, I can control the output from the chest. So this 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 chest is the furnace's input chest. This chest is the macerator's input chest. And I can control whether or not stuff is being sucked out of these individual chests using these levers. So I'm just turning them both on. You can see there, they're both starting to pump. Now, I've arranged this sort of randomly. Um, because what I'm hoping... There we go. See, that's silver, I think. And now that's iron. And, well, whatever. We've got different types going in. Um, I have been generating some power. So we should start to see that like the iron goes, oh, there isn't room for me, we'll loop back to the chest. And because items are flowing back into the chest, I don't think they will despawn. De so this seems the simplest solution to what's going on. So items should just keep circulating. See now, another one should be able to pop in now. There we go. See, the copper ore made it in because there was already copper in there. Eventually everything will get sorted, you know, into piles, and then it will start outputting um, multiples of the same thing. Because I think it's just taking from, like, you know, the top top left down, probably. And so now that there's two gold all there, the next two out will be gold, and then they will both be able to process, assuming it's finished with the copper. And essentially it's, it's self-sorting. Now here we can see the outputs are flowing into here, and we should start to see the same thing happening at this point. Um, so you can see stuff is flowing into here, into this chest, and then they come out there. Oh, there's no power for this yet. <laughs> I need to add some cables. So for now, everything's going to circle round because the silver dust is blocking this, and it goes, oops, we can't do anything. 
So you see it's got like a nice sort of safety mechanism to it. So let's just get some extra copper cable. There we go. So we'll start that one smelting now. So again, I know I'm losing power. Um, the, as I said, there's two ways to extend this without losing power. One is to put a bat box every four copper cables. The other one is to upgrade the cables. Um, I'm probably going to upgrade the cables because that seems overall more efficient to me. For now, I'll just accept the fact that I'm not that efficient. So you can see the silver starting to come out. So, there we go. See? So once the silver came out, the copper was able to go in. Um, it looks like the gold is still circulating. So, this works out well, I think. This is now, um, well, as long as there's power here, th this, uh, this, this machine is, I think, safe to leave. Because, you know, even if I completely run out of power here, and I'm not generating anything at the moment, items will just circulate forever. I like that. <laughs> it's pretty. And a lot better than what I had. And it has the um, the the, uh, the advantage that I can just go... Um, right, I need a bit more tin in the mix, so I can take tin out, um, out of my stores, and I can just drop it in, and then... So I can input stuff into the process wherever I want. Like, I think I had some dust laying around. I've got some some, some tin, tin dust left over. So, I can just go up to my smelter, drop in anything I want smelted, and it will eventually get smelted. And my ores end up there. Which is where I think I'm going to store my ores. So I know where to find them. And if I want to shut down the the production at any point, I just flick the switches, so that would essentially turn off the furnace, because it would be stopping the output from the... sorry, turn off the macerator, because it would be turning off the output from the macerator chest. And that will do that. And maybe I'll put up little, uh, little signs or something, or something later telling me what's going on. So, that's that problem sorted.